So today we are solving the problem of how do you survive a summer living in a tent in Florida and we are making an air conditioner out of a cooler. Everybody has been very concerned and to be honest, so have I about how I'm going to survive the hot Florida summer once that time gets here uh, in the tent. So this is not a new concept. Everybody has seen where people have taken coolers and made them into air conditioners. So uh, not new, but it is very much new to me. So this is going to be my take on it and the best I can do. I wanted to just get one of those cheap styrofoam coolers because let's be honest, I'm probably going to mess up a lot. And so I didn't want to ruin a perfectly good cooler, but it's January. And so even though like it makes sense, it was actually still like really surprising how hard it was to find one. So we had to just like do with what I could get my hands on. So this was, this cooler was on sale at Lowe's for 30 bucks. So I was pretty excited about it. It's got a little fancy little handle, some wheels, you know, just kind of cute. And then uh, I do not have power in the tent. So I needed a battery operated fan. I also needed it rechargeable for obvious reasons. So I went with this again, like 30 bucks off Amazon. It's USB rechargeable. So we're working around the not having an extension cord or anything. As far as the vents to blow the air out, I'm going to try different things. And uh, so we have two inch, one inch, maybe use one for the body, maybe one for the face. I also have this little guy that I was going to use uh, for a ventilation system if I end up doing the bathroom in the tent. That, you know, so it could like, but uh, anyway, we're just going to see. So on the cooler, I did not want to cut into this because again, I'm probably going to mess it up. So I didn't want to ruin the cooler. So what I decided to do is just open this up. I found this panel foam DIY installation kit and it was like, what? This is like six pieces for like 10 bucks. It appears to be like that same, um, material as like the cheap little coolers probably a little bit more toxic but i'm sure it'll be fine so i got this and there's plenty of times that i can redo it if i mess it up which is highly likely there's plenty of different ways that i could configure with the blower heads if i want to do different ones but anyhow so i'm going to take this cut it to fit in here just like you know with an exacto knife or whatnot set it down in there maybe do two layers thick maybe I don't know. We're just going to wing it and see. We're obviously going to have our cooling, whether it's dry ice, bags of ice. Uh, today, I'm just going to use the um, ice packs I have in the freezer just for us to try it out. And then the, air, the fan is going to blow down one side and it's going to come back up the vents. Also, this is also going to have it where I can take these out. Boop. We've got a fully functional cooler, table, Whatever, because again, we're going to be in a tent and so space is limited. So I figure it's like dual purpose. So anyhow, I'm going to just get after it and we're going to see how this ends up. So yeah, cooler, air conditioner, tent, <laughs> living the dream. So this first round was complete trash. Uh, good thing we were all prepared for it though, right? So uh, I cut out the template. Everything was going so well. It was sitting in there. Um, I put the fan on there. Whoop. It was holding the fan up. That was perfect. Well, whenever I wanted to go cut for this little guy, I figured uh, I was just going to start out with this one because I kind of sometimes don't have patience and I wanted to see if my air conditioner worked right. I was just jumping the gun, which is again, no surprise there. So I made my little poop, but I wasn't measuring anything. We were just winging it. And uh, so I made a little mark, cut it out. Sure enough, manhandled it. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. Bop, this side comes off, the whole thing collapses down. But I want to tell you, this thing is cold. We did it. Now there's a lot of refining, clearly, but we did. So, um, let me go ahead. So this is what we have. That's, um, but like I said, we expected it. So, and this fan is only like halfway. Here's that little USB fan. Yeah. So we have that in there. This was, I mean, this is a good starting template, which I should have taken the time to do that anyway, but we're moving on. So this was the first good go around. This is the part, boop, 
I had it exactly, this broke off, we all collapsed. However, a good starting point, and uh, I feel like we all learned a lot here also, the things that I have cooling it right now are just these two Yukon extra large five pound ice blocks. And I'm telling you, it was putting out some, some uh, cold, even just like, without it being even directed. I mean, y'all, that's cold air. I don't have one of them fancy temperature things, but uh, I don't know, 50 degrees? Like I know what I'm talking about. I don't, but it's cold. And I think with it directed like this, I think this is gonna have us where we're gonna be able to stand the uh, Florida nights in this tent. Have that blowing right on me? Everything's gonna be just fine. So, I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit more, make it purdy, make it actually stay in there. And again, this is why we have so many, so many of these little panels, right? We can do all kinds of configuration. We might have this for certain times, for maybe a whole tent cooler. We might have this when we need it like just like right in the face. Eh, who knows? Anyway, so I'm gonna mess around with this and uh, then we'll have a finished product soon enough. But I think we're gonna be all right. Okay, so I take my time and we've got the setup. And it's blasting, look. And then we have all this styrofoam, hot snow. Check it. That's air conditioned, baby. We got it. 